Hadouken. <laughs> What's up guys? In case you hadn't guessed it, it is Street Fighting time. There is another Street Fighter Challenge quest that has just gone live and this is your chance to grab the high rank Ryu armor set. So for those of you guys that did the quest beforehand and got the low rank set and perhaps wanted something that you could use end game, then this is your opportunity. Maybe the skills aren't exactly perfect, but the point is this is a high rank Ryu armor set. So if you guys want to get this, then in this video I'm going to go over exactly what you need to know and everything else like that. So if you do enjoy this, like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Also, if you missed the news yesterday, Capcom announced Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Incredibly exciting. So I've linked the video down below if you guys missed that news. And on top of that, there are also two giveaways running. Don't forget there is the Monster Hunter swag giveaway for everything you see in this picture, plus the God of War PS4 Pro giveaway. So if you haven't entered either of those, links are down below. But anyway, onto the quest. For those of you guys that want to do this, much like the last one, you need to go to the Gathering Hall because this is a challenge quest. So you have to go to the Arena Lass, scroll down to Challenge Quests. And if you go to the last page, there are three quests, kind of like the Sakura one last time. This time it is the Awakened Satsui no Hado number one, two, and three. The only difference with these quests are the available weapons to choose from because this is a challenge quest. You don't take your own gear in. You use the predetermined or pre-made loadouts for you. So if there's a particular weapon that you like to use or don't like to use, then pick the quest based on the choice. But if you go into one of these, complete these, you'll have to fight a no Gigante. And again, like before, if you get an A rank, you'll get three of the items needed. If you get a B rank, you'll get two. And if you get a C rank, you will get one. Of course, being a challenge quest, you can do this with up to two players. But upon completing it, you will then get the Street Fighter ticket number three. This is different to the one used to craft the first Ryu set and also different to the one used to craft the Sakura set. So you will need to do this quest in order to craft it, but you will need a grand total of four of these tickets. On top of that, you'll also need five Hunter King coins, which can also come from this quest. So if you haven't got them, you can just do it on repeat until you have them. Plus you'll need six Immortal Dragon Scales and one Rathalos Plate. If you want to craft it, go over to the Smithy, scroll down to full armor sets. Again, this is a complete armor set. You cannot wear it as individual pieces and it will strip off any layered armor pieces that you have equipped because of course it's not going to mess with the Ryu character model. But this is basically what it looks like. It is a Rarity 7 armor set. So again, it is a high rank set. So if you do want to use it as an endgame set, then that is of course available to you. On the skills front to begin with, this is considered a Rathalos armor set. So you have the Rathalos set bonuses, the first one being critical element, which increases your elemental damage when landing critical hits. Plus you have the four piece set bonus, which is Mind's Eye Ballistic, so it prevents attacks from being deflected and also shortens the distance before ammo and arrows reach maximum power. On top of that, you have Agitator level two, which when active grants plus eight attack and increases your affinity by 6%. On top of that, you have Constitution level two to reduce the fixed stamina depletion by 20%. Attack boost level 1 for plus 3 attack, defense boost level 1 for plus 5 defense, health boost level 1 for plus 15 health, and resuscitate level 1 which improves your evasion and reduces stamina depletion when afflicted with abnormal status effects. As for the slots, you have a grand total of 6 level 1 slots to play with, 1 level 2 slot and 1 level 3 slot. So again, on the decoration front, there's a little bit of stuff you can do with this, maybe not quite as many level 2 or 3 slots, but either way, if you do want to sort of flesh this out or at least bulk out the skills that it's given you, you can make this work. Again, it might not necessarily be the best set of skills and obviously because it is a complete armor set you can't customize it and mix it with other pieces but either way if you do want to use Ryu and you want to have it as a high rank armor set then this is your option. So for the time being that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have got this already and also if you guys saw the news yesterday about Generations Ultimate. What are you guys thinking? Are you excited? Let me know what you think. For the time being that's it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.